Welcome to Beauty and the Biz. Discover how to grow your practice with effective cosmetic patient attraction, conversion, and retention advice from author, speaker, trainer, and cosmetic practice business and marketing coach, Catherine Maley, MBA. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Beauty and the Biz, where we talk about the business and marketing side of the cosmetic practice. I'm your host, Catherine Maley, author of Your Aesthetic Practice, What Your Patients Are Saying, as well as consultant to cosmetic practices to get them more patients and more profits. So today's episode is called Summer Marketing Tips. Um, just to, to give you a little weather report in Sausalito, summer's very funny in Sausalito. Everywhere else, it's 100 degrees, 95% humidity, <laughs> and bugs everywhere. And in Sausalito, by the way, we don't have many bugs. It's amazing. I love it. And um, it can start out beautiful. Like right now, it's a gorgeous sunny day. And later on in the afternoon, the fog will roll in and the weather will dramatically change. Sometimes, sometimes it's not bad, but usually as the summer goes on, the way this micro system works here, um, the fog comes in and it almost becomes like fall or winter. Um, it can get very cold and windy and it's odd. And then it'll go away and the sun comes back. So crazy. So um, for the summer marketing tips, here are, um, here's why I put this together, because I get the calls about the frustration that things slow down in the summer and you still need to pay staff. So they've got to stay busy. And then you've got too many holes in your schedule. So I thought this would be apropos to go over some ideas here, because here's what's going to happen. If you don't do something now to heat up your summer profits, you are just going to it's just going to slow down for no good reason because you didn't do anything. So I want to give you some simple strategies to boost your skincare to surgery revenues so you end up having a great profitable summer. But this is going to take a mind shift. And here's, here's what I'm thinking. If you believe the summer slows down and that's all there is to it, you believe that it's true for you, but it's not true for the rest of the world because I've been around and I know that. It's those who wake up and say, okay, there's still plenty of business out there. The whole world did not go on vacation, you know? I mean, there's still plenty of people and you don't need everybody. Let's say even the majority of people um, take some time off in the summer, but you don't need the majority. You just need a group for your own practice to stay busy. So please believe that there's plenty of cosmetic rejuvenation revenues out there just follow the trends if you're not sure. Let me just be logical about this. So let's just start with the social trends. We know that there's changes in marital status all the time. And to be blunt, a woman who never cared about her looks before because she was just happily married or just married for forever is now suddenly single. That's a really tr good trigger for her to want cosmetic surgery. It's just the reality. So if this happens in the summer, it happens then. If it happens in the winter, fine, but there's it's, plenty of that hap is happening in the summer. Also, there's still plenty of job changes going on. And if all of these millennials are now taking over the jobs of the older people, um, that's another trend where you want to look your best. And also because it is summer, there are lots of social events going on and barbecues and uh, travel. And then family's always involved. <laughs> and there's some sibling rivalry with sisters. So all of that um, is helpful to our industry. And then if we look at the economic trends, you know, some businesses slow down in the summer, so it's a great time for downtime. And some um, actually, uh, some places actually close. It's like mandatory close for two weeks out of the uh, summer. And that's a great time for you to get some patients in. And we all know there's that the teachers and the professors, uh, a lot of them are off all summer. Nice gig if you can get it. Um, so they would be perfect for um, having a little downtime right now. There's also bonus payouts. Um, in corporations, quite a few of them uh, have a fiscal year that ends in June 30th. So at that point, there's some bonuses that happen. So there's some money there uh, to be used for cosmetic rejuvenation. There are also divorce settlements that happen. And those are, um, by the way, in our industry, do you know the absolute best cosmetic surgery patient who it is? It's the female patient six months after her divorce, because that's when she gets her settlement. So if there's any way you could plug into that group, it's a good one. Um, and then here's another thought that most don't think about. I do a lot of reading and I read that 
there was something like $13 trillion being inherited by the baby boomers from the other generation because they were so good at saving. And just as an aside, <laughs> the baby boomers are like, you know, screw the kids, I'm spending the money while I'm here. So some of those uh, shifts have changed, but right now that's a lot of money floating around. So just know the money is still out there. You just need to adjust. And then we've got the technology trends. So let's say you do believe that um, nobody wants surgery in the summer. If you do believe that, then go ahead and adjust to the minimally invasive uh, procedures. You know, give them the stuff that has less or no downtime or less or no scarring or less invasive or it's less painful or it's cheaper and is faster. Um, because if you take care of somebody in the summer with a minimally invasive procedure, there's a really good chance they're going to come back for surgery in the fall or the winter because now you have planted that seed um, and they're, now they're thinking about it more and now they love you for what you helped them with in the summer. So there's a good chance you'll see them again because here's what I know for sure about cosmetic patients because I am one. They have endless needs all year. A, a patient who cares how they look, they don't just care how they look in the winter or the spring. They care a lot in the summer as well. So they will go up and down the ladder of your services if you just help them. So some people come to you uh, strictly for surgery because you put so much money into PPC and all of that to get surgery. But then if you hang on to them, they'll stay put and go down the ladder to fillers and Botox and lasers and let's say micropeeling or micropenning and retail products. Or some will start small because they don't understand this industry yet. So they'll just dip their toe into retail products and peels and then they'll move themselves up the ladder as they get more comfortable. So then they'll go to lasers and Botox and then some filler and then surgery. And then others will start in the middle. The point being, cosmetic patients enter your practice through many different doors. So you want to be with them where they are because here's a point in marketing. You always enter the conversation the cosmetic patient is already having in their minds. So if they enter the door just wanting Botox, for example, give them Botox, but then make sure they're clear of all the other services you offer so they can stay with you and go up and down the ladder. So with that, I'm going to give you some summer marketing tips that are working now. And I highly recommend you listen to these tips, jot some down that you want to do, bring them back to your staff and let them execute them now. There's no fiddling around. It's time to do it now. And your staff can execute it quite easily if they just think. So here's a very simple one that anyone can do tomorrow. It's called Beach Buddy Botox. And it's very simple. The theme would be all summery. And it would, the headline would be, got wrinkles, got a friend. I stole that from the milk commercial. Um, bring a friend to your next Botox appointment and you both get an instant $50 gift card towards your treatment. That's how simple it is. So when you have a theme like that, and it's all got to be themed in the summer, you have to say why you're doing something, and that is entering the conversation in their minds. So isn't that an easy one? Beach Buddy Botox. Now here's another strategy. Because there are educators that are off in the summer and they could have surgery, this might be the only time of year they can have surgery. So you put together a themed summer surgical special just for educators. And the point being, when you market or advertise, you want to talk to a very specific group and be very focused on what you're giving them. So in this case, I would offer a surgical gift card. And just so you know, I never offer discounts. It just it hurts your brand. But we do offer gift cards. There's a much different connotation. A gift card says, thank you so much for knowing me or getting to know me. It's a gift card. So you would give them a surgical gift card and it's got to expire in the summer because you need a sense of urgency on everything in today's world. You know, we are way too busy right now and patients will procrastinate forever. Even though something has bothered them, ask them how long it's bothered them. <laughs> They'll tell you for years and they finally did something about it. So our goal here is to get them to do something about it now rather than later. So the surgical gift card uh, or the special ends uh, August 31st. And here's another spin on that. As long as you're having this summer surgical special for educators, it's a great time for your coordinator 
to get on the phone and call all consults that haven't booked yet and offer this to them, but in a conspiratorial kind of way. So she can say something like, you know what, Sarah, we're having a summer special for educators and I'd love to offer it to you. So are you connected with the educational system in any way, shape or form? And no matter what they say, it, it, it can be kind of funny. They'll say, well, my child goes to college. Perfect. <laughs> I'm able to give that off, you know, give that to you. Um, it would just be a fun way to um, reach out to patients who were so close to saying yes and then didn't. Because quite frankly, you never know why people didn't say yes. You often will never understand why they said no. Oftentimes they're not saying no. They're just saying, I don't know. I'm not ready. I'm not sure. I'm confused. I'm scared. You never know. So that's why I always uh, would tell practices, always follow up with these people because times change, circumstances change. You just never know. And if you can call with a good reason like this, this is where you'll get a response. And now you have to understand that this is a numbers game at this point. So some of them will never call you back. Some will say, oh, thanks, but no thanks. And some of them will actually say, God, you're calling me at the perfect time. And then they'll tell you what's going on. Perhaps it was one of those trends that we talked about. <laughs> now, another uh, summer marketing tip is to put together combination packages. But the secret is you make it a really fun summer theme. No, I'm going to give you an example of what I did, but do make up your own. Get your staff together and brainstorm. What do you want to call it and what do you want to include in it? So, for example, I did a summer skin kit and it would include a face surgical consultation, a skin analysis treatment or, you know, whatever it's called, skin analysis session, microneedling or facial treatment, and a sunscreen. All of that goes together for a very special price. And it expires uh, after, at the summer, after summer. You've got to have things expire on August 31st. So in your case, let's say you do more body than you do face surgery. So in your case, you would just tweak this so you could have a body surgical consultation, uh, let's say a Vectra computer body imaging session. You can still do microneedling or a facial treatment, and you can still do a sunscreen product because you're introducing them to your retail line. So do you see how that becomes more compelling? And it really um, uh, repels price shoppers. <laughs> and price shoppers are ridiculous. They're the ones who are going to pull this apart and try to get a deal if they take out one of the things and you don't want to work with that kind of patient. You want to work with a patient who says, oh, that's nice. It all goes together and I have a great, great price for it. And, and that's just what I needed to get in there. So, you know, so cater to the people who make sense to you. And what I love about the price shoppers, they can't pull it apart and say, well, um, I could get this part cheaper somewhere else. So let them do that. Let them go somewhere else while you keep it together as a fun summer skin kit, okay? And then think about other compelling summer offers you can put together that don't hurt your bottom line, but actually fill up your schedule with all sorts of treatments that are good for your staff to perform or are good for you to get involved with. But it's very simple things that are always summer themed and they end on August 31st. So here are some examples free sunblock with micropenning treatment, or free Botox with skin tightening, or introductory offer for your new minimally invasive body contouring treatment. So what you would do there is you, would, you wouldn't send that out to everybody. So you would pull out anybody who's already had minimally invasive body contouring because they wouldn't be uh, eligible for the introductory offer because they've already had it. And then you just send it to everyone else, right? Here's the thing about marketing. You never really know until you test something uh, if it's going to be a home run or it's just going to be a uh, triple. I don't know baseball analogies or they only get to second base, <laughs> however that goes. Um, you just never know. So you test things. I will tell you, I have tested a lot. And there's something about this one offer that works beautifully. And, it, and my copy was really good too. But it was something like, one plus two plus three equals wow, something like that. And I offered you buy Botox and you buy filler and then you get a free IPL. And the IPL was valued at, uh, let's say, $500. 
and you can call it IPL, BBL, Clear and Brilliant, whatever you have. The point being, when you offer all three of those as a combination, the result can be a wow. So do that, but also have a really good set of photos on patients that you did this to, um, the before and after, and it's just, uh, that is for sure a home run. So you can have all these offers, but you've got to spread the word because nothing counts until people know what you're up to. And a lot of practices miss some of the pieces where they could use marketing channels to help them spread the word. So for example, obviously you want to email to your current patients, your summer specials. You also want to put it on your website, but a lot of you hide it under specials. And a lot of uh, consumers who are clicking around aren't going to try that hard to find things. So you want to put a cute little sun that says, click here for summer specials on your homepage, about page, photo page, <laughs> everywhere you can. So they, they understand, oh my God, they have summer specials going on. Let me see what's going on. All, obviously, you want to do it on so social posts. And I don't know how many different platforms you're using, but I would say with social media, because it is so time consuming, I would pick your top two. And those are always Instagram and Facebook. So stay there and then just keep changing the offers all summer and, um, and make sure you have in your bio your homepage uh, so they can jump over there and see, you know, see what's up. You can also do direct mail, as I mentioned. Direct mail, um, I'm actually a pretty big expert on direct mail because I've done so much of it throughout the 19 years. And here's what I would say. You never send direct mail to a stranger. You always send it to people who already know you, especially for our industry, um, it, because it's expensive to do. Um, just write, like handpick people that you want to send mail to and give it, make sure there's a really good offer in it. So there's a reason for them to open it and act now. So I would use that education offer or some kind of uh, summer, summer theme that ends on August 31st. And then of course, you can always call people and tell them about your summer specials and, and include alliances as well. In your neighborhood, there are quite a few businesses that cater to the same demographic you do, whether it be a woman's health club, a high-end retail boutique, a, a hair salon, a day spa who only does the fluffy stuff and not the cosmetic uh, like injectables and lasers. Find them and then when you approach them, give them a reason to want to spread the word. So you could give them a display sign and really cute business cards that say um, summer gift card just for you and then they can pass it out to their alliances and they can also use it for themselves. Now, once you've spread the word, you also, to get people into your practice, you also want to make sure anybody who walks through your doors knows about your summer specials. So in that case, you would do in-house signage. One uh, in-house signage that I love that you can pull out every year is, are those foldable banners. You see them in the exhibit halls. And um, they're usually like three or four feet long, but then you open it up just like you do a theater or a PowerPoint screen. You open it up and click it on the top. It has like six feet of real estate that you can put all sorts of messages there. So for example, you can have a really big one with a girl in a bikini saying, get your curves back and show some skin this summer, show some before and after photos, ask us today about you know, uh, uh, body shaping contouring or something like that, or get your beach body back or something like that. The point being, you could have different ones of these set up for different seasons and just store them. And then when summer comes, pull that one out. And I like it because it doesn't take up much room in your practice. You just put it in the corner and it's like six feet of, it's almost like a, po a poster. It doesn't take much room. And then here's a really cute idea for check in and check out. Have your staff go to one of those art supply stores and you can get some kind of a frame that sits flat and you can put sand in it and then you can put cute little tchotchkes in there like a cute little umbrella, little sunglasses, little sandals. And you also include two more things. One is your skincare products um, and a gift card, like a gift certificate 
sample and you put sample on it. And that way, when people are checking in and out, they look at it and say, because because it's very eye catching, they say, oh, oh my God, how cute is that? And then your receptionist should have the wherewithal to say, oh, did you want to try out our skincare products? And then, or did you want to refill your sun, your sunscreen? Um, or did you need a quick gift? And there's the gift card. And that way, not only are you selling or promoting your skincare, but you're also promoting gift cards for their friends and family. And that's how you get new patients. Now, because it is summer, and if the staff is complaining that things are slow now, perfect, because the rest of the year, they're complaining that they're too busy. So this is a really good time to update your photos because nobody ever gets around to that unless you make them. Um, it's also a great time to clean up your office. I cannot tell you how many offices I go to as a consultant and because they see the clutter every day, they don't see it anymore. But as a visitor to a practice, you do know consumer patients and co cosmetic patients, they're looking everywhere for clues as to who you are. And if they see a bunch of boxes and crap around your desk or under your desk or in corners, boy, does that look bad. Get all that out of there. You have to look orderly and clean and fresh um, because that's your brand. You also, this might be a good time to paint or redo your floor. If you need a little facelift in your office it could, because it's looking a little drab and a little outdated, um, the summer's a perfect time to take care of that. So please be sure your office is in tip-top shape um, because the patients are noticing every little thing because they're trying to decide do they stay with you or are they are your competitors going to be able to woo them away because they have spent the time to organize and clean up and look sharp and here's my last tip if it is slower in the summer what a perfect time for you to grow and learn and improve your processes so it's time to sharpen the saw what a great time for your staff to get back into training and honing their skills and perfecting their processes so you get to a yes more often. And even for the surgeon, it's a really good time for you to um, grow as a leader, grow as a business owner. So if you need any help with that and um, sharpening your skills, please uh, check out my services at katherinemaley.com. I can be super helpful with everybody in your practice. Okay. So that is my summer marketing tips. I hope you enjoyed that. I would love for you to subscribe. If you haven't already, go to iTunes and subscribe to Beauty and the Biz. And I'd really appreciate it if you shared this with your colleagues and with your staff. And of course, please give me comments and questions and any other topics that you would like me to cover. I'd be happy to um, because well, I do this once a week, so I'm always going to look for content. And then if you want to uh, check me out, you can go to Catherine Maley MBA at Instagram and you can uh, DM me there or you can go to my website, CatherineMaley.com and you can ask me questions or connect with me there. And that is it. Enjoy your summer and I'll talk to you soon. We hope you found valuable insight on this episode of Beauty and the Biz. For more episodes, tools, and Catherine's free book, visit www.catherinemaley.com. That's www.catherinemaley.com. And be sure to subscribe to get the latest practice building strategies delivered to you. And don't forget to share this Beauty in the Biz podcast with your staff and colleagues.